Welcome everybody, you're watching Mr. Fugu Data Science. Today we will discuss Notebook LM from Google. I will provide you with tips, uses, and examples to get started. Feel free to hit me up on socials. This is a great resource for anyone and everyone. I don't care if you're 10 years old or 80. Type Notebook LM into Google search. The first result is what you need. You could also click this second one, which will take you directly to it. Click the link, you'll get greeted with this page. Now, click the button that says Try Notebook LM. But I need to show you something. Scroll down to the bottom then it's going to relate to security and privacy, something I greatly appreciate. They mentioned that they're not using the information that you provide to it for their training models. We can go back, open a new notebook, acquaint you with the layout real quick. The left side of the page is where you're uploading your documents. You have a 50 document max at one time. Each document will either be 200 megabytes or 500,000 words. You can also upload links, videos, markdown files. You can click to upload links such as videos, articles, Markdown files, for instance, clicking the source button, we're able to see what types of data are accepted. If you notice, I have a pink warning message on the left. This occurred because this file does not have a transcript, or I should say this YouTube video. We're unable to create any insights from this video currently using Notebook LM. Don't worry though, if you want to summarize videos that do not have a transcript, I created a video last week regarding this specific topic. Check the card above for that video if you're interested. Now that you have the first topic or a set of topics loaded, we can start gaining some insights sites. But how about stepping back for a second and thinking about who is this really made for? Consider educators creating lesson plans, preparing for presentations, marketing materials, watching our competitors, generating data for AI assistance. I haven't even mentioned the coolest part of this, which is a podcast generator, creating two voices summarizing the topics that you upload. Yeah, we'll get into that as well. I started creating general prompts to break down a research paper that I have, which is somewhat dense. I wanted to break this down and explain what's going on at each step within the figures and tables. Now you also have to be aware that you cannot guarantee this a parse or summarize 100% correct. Read the disclaimer below. Here's a few of my prompts and the output's pretty good. The table data and relevant information for each section appears coherent. I could have a briefing as needed based on this peripheral information provided. Remember, you can use this as a tool and aid, which will mean that the possibilities are limited only by your imagination. If we collapse this, the chat, it shows the main center page where any questions that you have such as FAQs or similar can be stored. Let me show you how this works. Click the button on the right that says Notebook Guy. This will expand the search further and if you notice on the right, I generated a podcast based on the file that was read in. We have a great deal of important information from this section. We have three distinct areas such as Help Me section, Summary, Suggested Questions, and the Podcasting. If you look at the help me create section, you have a few options that are really good. Frequently asked questions, a study guide, table of contents, a timeline, and briefing documents. Aside from this and the podcast, you have the summary in the lower left. You have the suggested questions you could also hit on the lower right. And at the very bottom, we have the option of generating our own prompts. And if you hit anything on the help me create, it goes in this gray section behind, which is really cool. If we zoom and look to the left at the source and section, I have the three files that I uploaded, but only two of them will work. And if I click the I or hover over it, it says this video cannot be imported because there's not a relevant transcript. Remember I said earlier in the video, I dealt with this using Gemini API and you can click the video to look for that if you need to download and create a transcript. The great thing is we could upload up to 50. This is creative as you want. You really can. If you want to take a YouTube video, for example, I open this up. We could see the summary right on top. We could extract text, image analysis, use the Gemini API, Google code lab. We can do prompting. If we scroll down, it gives basically the transcript of the video and you can run any kind of text analysis you want on this, however creative you are. Assuming I had a weekly calendar and I wanted to make a video based on competitors, maybe I was doing some research and marketing. I'm trying to create something and get inspired by ideas. Maybe I need to do some teaching, a presentation. I said this before, but I just want to bring it home. These are some of the things you can do. I had to close out the tabs real 
quick and look at the bottom to the right. Tap that again so we can look at the podcast finally and hear some of the audio so you get an idea of what's going on. This is a great option. Hey everyone and welcome back. Get ready because today we're diving into the world of AI video generation. And let me tell you, it's like seeing the creative minds of thousands of users all working with AI video generators. It's pretty amazing. We're talking one point. This is pretty useful. I had to cut the audio off real quick, but you get the point. You can figure out how to put this into a use case for yourself and possibly monetize it. And I just wanted to make this quick little video to give some ideas to show you what you can do with this. It's extremely useful. There are two things I would like to mention, but because they're important. When I looked for the figures, there were images that were attached with them. No matter what I did for prompting, I could not get those images to display with a summary text of each figure. But if you notice the tables that I used, I was able to get the output of a table with an explanation of what's included in this table and explain what's going on. So I thought that was interesting. That's one thing that I had an issue with. I forgot to mention another aspect, which is important. The podcast itself, make sure that it, since it's experimental, make sure it aligns with what's going on within the material you're using. Make sure the context and the information is correct if you're going to decide to use it. I distress this again. The summaries and all the output list generated, make sure that that's relevant for what you're using it for as well. If you're analyzing some research papers or something like this, and it might be complex, don't just take what you're getting as output as scripture because you may have inconsistencies. I think it's really important for me to mention that because no matter what you do, yes, this is a valuable tool, but don't take everything that you see as fact or as being correct. You notice that there's two items available. The settings, if you click that, you'll see the notebook LM FAQ, a Discord link, and then you could change the mode and a share link. And that will let you do real time collaboration with other people. That's something I forgot to mention as well, but it's pretty important. I hope that this really did bring utility and help you out. Scratch that. This is just a quick primer. Hopefully it wasn't too boring and it could get you started. I didn't really find any downsides to using this. Just understand what this is for and who would maybe market it towards. I think this is a good general purpose item for anyone who's trying to do some background research or summarize anything. I think that's a great use case, especially the podcast feature. There's so many uses for that, which you could also use to monetize, which is great. This was just a short video as a public service announcement, just putting it out there in the world. Yeah, there's other people who have done it. This is new to me. I think it's really, really a great tool. But that'll be the conclusion of this video. So I like to say, if you thought that this has some utility, consider leaving a like. It's free. And if you want to see some of our content related to AI topics or coding, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on notifications. I have a Buy Me a Coffee, a Patreon, as well as channel memberships if you would like to help support the channel. Shameless plug, but I got to do it. Takes a long time making these videos. Thank you to everyone who's been watching watching and I'll see you in the next one. Run free and dive into the sky. She had the wind crying out it's pretty What are we just home? I seem to be alive.